In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify your mouse properties in Windows 8.1. So at your start screen, click on your desktop, and then go to the bottom right hand corner, bring up the charm bar, and at the very bottom with the gear icon where it says settings, click there, and then go up and click on control panel. Now in your control panel, if you don't already have it set, go to the top right hand corner where it says view by and select small icons from the drop down menu. All right. In the list of small icons here, you have uh, click on mouse and you'll get the mouse properties window that comes up. All right. So for many people, uh, pulling double click speed all the way down to slow will make things a lot easier for them. If you find that you double click and the computer doesn't respond, you're probably not doing it fast enough. You can test how well it works by opening and closing the little folder on the right. Okay, so you can slide the slider up and down until it feels right to you, but in my experience, bringing it all the way down to slow uh, makes it more usable for everybody. All right. Now, also, if you're on a laptop or even on a desktop and you have trouble finding your pointer at times, you can go into your pointers and select uh, the Windows standard extra large. Okay, and then you get like a pointer that's twice as large as normal, which is great. And if you want, you can also enable the uh, pointer shadow, all right, which also helps on a certain uh, colored backgrounds. We also have pointer options here. If you find that your pointer sl slips back and forth on the screen too fast, you can slow that down. And of course, the opposite, if you find that things are going way too slow, you can speed it up by pulling it further toward fast. All right. There's other options here, uh, such as pointer uh, trails, okay, which basically repeats it on the path behind where it's moving. Um, I personally find that annoying. I'm, I'm not going to set that up here. Um, you can choose to hide or not hide the pointer while typing. Uh, and one handy thing is, if, if you do fi have trouble finding your pointer, click this option here, which says show location of pointer when I press the control key. So if we press apply to what we've done so far, and I go ahead and press the control key, you'll see that it does that uh, reducing circle bit there. It shows me where the actual pointer is. All right. And of course, we have some wheel options here telling the computer how far you want it to scroll when you scroll your your wheel. And uh, the last thing is a bit of hardware. Uh, we don't really usually have to go into that area at all. OK, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And you've modified your pointer and mouse options. I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and thanks for watching.